So neurosurgery, uh, in I mean, uh, or skull-based surgery in general, uh, and particularly pituitary surgery, really falls under these two eras of the microscope uh, and now the endoscope. And for us to be facile with the use of the endoscope and, and to be able to operate dynamically like this under dynamic visualization, it takes training. And it is the reason why I dedicated a significant amount of, amount of time after residency, in addition to just residency alone, but after residency uh, to learn how to operate in this space uh, and with this technology. And the technology is constantly being advanced. As you can see here, these are three different technologies that are currently being studied and researched. This is the use of uh, a fluorescent dye that uh, is taken up by the native pituitary gland, but not by the tumor to help us visualize and hunt for these tumors. This is the resolution that you see of a 4K endoscope. This is the basilar artery here. And here we are just resected a chordoma and doing microdissection around the microvasculature through the endoscope. This is surgical theater or virtual reality that allows us to preoperatively look at tumors and their relationship to surrounding vasculature and skull base to help better pre-plan. Here's a video of that ICG that I just mentioned to you and the uptake. Look at this beautiful view here. We inject the patient with ICG in the operating room and we're able to see the gland, the pituitary gland here, right here, take up avidly uh, the contrast, but the, the tumor itself does not. You see that? So uh, these are dyes that are currently under research, uh, but we're slowly playing around with them and trying to understand which tumors and, and what properties allow for this, okay? The um, other area that's exploding in, uh, in, in, in the field is the use of 3D printing. And uh, what you see here is a very landmark, a very unique landmark case that uh, uh, Juan and I did uh, on a two-year-old um, that presented with a very complex craniopharyngioma. We had to print out the skull base. Imagine the, the, the size of a two-year-old skull base and we had to print out the skull base and we practiced drilling it to see if it's even feasible before we even went to the operating room and tried to remove this tumor. So this is uh, uh, a technology that, as you can imagine, profoundly changes the way you prepare for surgery. And here's the case live uh, of a case with a large craniopharyngioma. You see the complexity of this tumor. It's how it's wrapped around vascular structures. Here's our view. And here's us taking the tumor out and looking into the ventricular system. You see that? We're actually looking into the ventricular system. This is how deep this tumor was. For a complete resection here. Hey everyone, Ryan Rad here from neurosurgerytraining.org. If you like that video, subscribe and donate to keep our content available for medical students across the world.